a businessman. Aristotle, Socrates, and Nazis. So young and already at the top of the ladder. Yeah. I will dance to that. <laughs> I were poor. Aristo, don't be like that. What got Papa out of prison? Money. What made him come to bring me? Money. Can't have too much. Come on. Ah. Go dance with Papa. Do you remember how? Power is respect, safety. You saw what happened to us in our family home. They stripped us of everything. I'm never going to let that happen again, never. Not to us, not to my family. There's Livanos. Go on, introduce me. What's the matter, you embarrassed? There is no point. You are in tobacco, he is in shipping. The king of shipping. He makes more money hauling my tobacco than I make selling it. Shipping, that's where the profit is. And the risk. Suits me fine. Go on, introduce us. Hey, Kratz. I thought you had disappeared. Just up from Argentina. Don't get too dizzy going back and forth. <laughs> I'd like to introduce you to Aristo Onassis. A great pleasure, sir. Onassis. I don't know that name. Give your parents my regards. Do I smell? Ari. Am I in rags? I warned you. The Greek shipping committee is a tight-knit clan. You think he invented ships? You have to be born into one of the old families. Hmm. Maybe I can get myself adopted. 
There's a war coming, Costa. I can feel it. He's going to drink up oil. The man who knows how to move oil faster and cheaper is going to make a fortune. Adi, you're doing just fine. Don't get involved with something you don't know, huh? I know what I want. I've heard the Canadian Steamship Company is in trouble. Yes. You could steal those ships if you played your cards right. You know the business. Go to Canada and buy them for me. No. Why not? You've got the experience. You've got something I don't have. What's that? The killer instinct. That's how I started. With second-hand rust buckets. He was amazing. He learned every schedule, every rate sheet in the world by heart. I could cut the competition slice by slice till they were on their knees. Pretty soon I was building my own ship. Using other people's money, of course. <laughs> <laughs> I invented the super tanker. Twice the size of an ordinary tanker carrying twice the volume of oil at half the cost. Double the profit. Genius, eh? Then the war came, like all other ship owners, we came here. What I like about America, it's a free country. I can have what I want. Of course, uh, sometimes, even in the land of the free, there are people who don't want you to have what you deserve. But no hard feelings. Where there's a will, there's a way. Thank you, Mr. Nassus. Let's make a swell story. What will you call it? How about the Golden Greek? The Golden Greek. I like that. The Golden Greek. <laughs> Livanos hates publicity about the shipping industry. He'll have a fit. Good. Uh, for Pete's sake. Mm -hmm. Must have been some kick in the shin. A riding accident. It hurt terribly. It deserves an autograph. Are you someone important? I will be. Arionassis, we've met before. What happened to Aristo? He grew up. Ari O. Nassis is better. New York is filled with Irishmen. <laughs> Come, the car is waiting. Virginia, I help your sister. Playing with schoolgirls? She's beautiful. Green fruit. She's Greek, top pedigree, English finishing school. She's Livanus' daughter. Exactly. He looks like a motorized gargoyle. He's very rich. So are we. Daddy, if you mean. He's here for you. How do you know? I'm older than you. I can tell. You have to be careful when you ride one of these things. Uh, or you get hurt, you got to be in control. These young guys, they go fast, but they don't know what they're doing. They're not in control. Come dance with me? No. Why not? I don't want to. That's not the reason. You have a boyfriend, huh? Yes. What's he like, this uh, boyfriend? He's nice. And I'm not? No. But you'll come dance with me. Daddy. Not yet. But there's a difference between his money and mine. What's that? Mine you can spend. Where are you going? Right. I can see that. 
With whom? A friend. Yes? Do I have to tell you everything? I am your father. You are seeing too much of this ambitious Turkish peasant. Ari, not the Turkish peasant. No more Ari. No discussion. You won't be going. Tell him you are not going. Go out when he's away. T I L Y. What does it mean? Tina, I love you. Any more questions? Can you stand up to Daddy? You said you wanted to talk business. You have a serious proposal to make. Talk. Merger. You are fun. I'm not interested in taking over your fleet of robots. I didn't say takeover, I said merger. You understand? I'm talking about a personal merger. Marriage? With you? Better than cutthroat competition. My uh, fleet of rowboats, as you call it, is becoming the largest personal armada in the world. I'm going to control the flow of oil. That's power. With me in the family, at least I won't crush you. I could break your back. I don't think so. But if we fight, someone else will win. Nina's only 17. You married a girl that age. Don't be impertinent. Her older sister is not married. First off the line, first married. You don't understand that. You're not Greek. Your daughters are not ships. A man must observe the rules. The only rule is there are no rules. And if I refuse, I'll take her anyway. your gift to the new couple? A townhouse on Sutton Square. Mr. Onassis must be pleased. It was Dida to Dina. And to the groom? What could one possibly give? <laughs> One ship. I wanted to buy 20 only to be told by Libanus that none were available. He gave it to you as a gift. Maybe that makes you part of the family. Maybe it means he's poking me in the eye. There's a mortgage attached. Hmm. It's not enough, Costa. I'm looking to beat the hell out of these gorillas. It's war. A very civilized war. A show for the ladies. But he can't prevent me from making a family and a home. Costa, look, maybe this time okay. I'll find contentment. I feel like a boy again. Ari, it's time to cut the cake. If only Papa was alive, he'd be so proud.
I'm trying to decide whether I feel different. I must, mustn't I? I'm a wife. I've never been to a better wedding before, have you? I've never been to one that was mine before. What's the matter? I thought you'd wear silk pajamas. I do, when I go to sleep. Are you nervous? Should I be? <laughs> well, when a 17-year-old girl finds herself in a hotel room with a 46-year-old man, she uh, might get nervous. Why, we're married. Come on, Costa, keep up the pressure. I'll be the only man in the world to own a national airline. Onassis and Olympic, perfect, huh? <laughs> but it better make a profit. Now, this is what I want you to do. I want you to stall the negotiations, just stall it. Tell them I'm on my way, then I don't show up and they get nervous, huh? They'll squeal, but they'll play ball. Tell Daddy I couldn't wait. Oh. When will you be back? Depends on the skiing. When will you be back? When I get a break. Fine. I'll see you then. Work hard and get top grades, eh? Will you do that for me? What will you do for me? <laughs> I like a speedboat. A real one. Sure, sure. Give your father a kiss. When I get back, we'll have lots of fun together, eh? I own it. Well, the whole thing? <laughs> Rainier wouldn't rent me office space. He said I wasn't the right type. So I told Grazos to buy it. His Serene Highness woke up one morning and he wasn't so serene. He was the prince, but I was the man who bought Monte Carlo. Of course, it's not as big as Churchill's England. Oh, you flatter me. I didn't own England. I merely attempted to protect her. And that was long ago. But you won the war. You will have a place in history. Ah, oh, well, history is fickle. One can never predict what one will be remembered for. Not one of his better days. No, I. Sir Winston, please, inside. Decent of you to invite this young Kennedy chap. I despise the father. I hear the son is presidential timber. Now, tell me, Ari, how will history remember you? Nice of you to show up for this trip. Ari, that's not fair. Sometimes I don't know what you want from me. I want for you to spend more time with your children. They're your children, too. You give your heart to your business and you leave nothing for us. It's not enough for me to be a nursemaid. You need more help? Hire it. Hire whatever you need. I can't hire happiness and I can't pretend we're a family when we're not. You and your women. Come on, Tina, stop being a little girl. You know what the deal is. I'm a Greek and you're my wife. I'm not your possession. As long as we're married, you are whatever I want you to be. You're nothing but a Turkish peasant. It makes me feel 
still soiled, we still sleep together. It's a soiled world. Well, uh, Jackie, if I uh, don't make it to the White House, will you uh, settle for a yacht like this? <laughs> <laughs> I told you not to wear white. Mr. Winston thinks you're the waiter. <laughs> I uh, think we better introduce ourselves. No one else will. Senator, uh, I must ask you to leave by 7.30. Sir Winston dines promptly at 8.15. I don't think we're invited. My regrets. Jackie Kennedy. <laughs> Some presidential timber. The kid couldn't make the outhouse, let alone the White House. Looks okay. The wife looks okay. There's something willful about her, something provocative. Sound like a man who's looking for something? Yes, I'm looking for something. For what? Her? Nah, she's just an American senator's wife. Madonna of the world. Superb. You broke their house. I feel numb. Just a boat trip. Christa Christina, the most fabulous yacht in the world. It's still a boat, and you've bought an entire trousseau. Sita, don't be petty. I want to feel good. Who knows who'll be there? Onassis and his jet set, empty people. All that money, not a penny to the arts. I don't care. I just want to drink champagne and then I'm on a second honeymoon. You're such a romantic. So? I'm taking your music. You're not going three weeks without practice.
Mm. This is a floating head. More like a floating zoo. Why are you so peevish? Having children didn't ruin her figure. She has every reason in the world to look passable with all the time in the world to indulge herself. I work. I earn my keep. Maria, you have a concept. <laughs> yes, I have a concept. And after that, another one, and another, but I may never have another cruise. There, I'm free! Bravo! Bravo! There's a temple to be proud of, huh? <laughs> an adoring husband. She hasn't practiced for days. Do you like to sail, Mr. Meneghini? As long as it's calm. But it is calm. Three weeks sailing when you're seasick. A brave man. If you'll excuse me. Maria. Oh, you go ahead. I'm enjoying myself. And Tita, don't touch the air conditioning. You know what it does to my throat. Huh? Thank you for dinner. He's a dreadful little man. Who? Meneghini? Meningitis is more like it. <laughs> you know what Maria said? What? The only place she'd ever felt adored was on the stage. Never in real life. Maria said that? She said it quite sadly. Mind you, who could feel adored married to a man like that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm tired. Are you coming or not? I thought you of all people would want to avoid Turkey. If it wasn't for the Turks, I'd still be selling tobacco on the Grand Vizier. It's been a long time since I've been home. You'd like to see it, wouldn't you? Yes. Will you come? Of course. I'll stay on board with the Churchill. I thought you were an urchin. Onassis the starveling from the gutters of Smyrna. I also read that you inherited all your money and never had to lift a finger. Which is true. Which would you prefer to believe? Ah. Ah, whenever I smell jasmine, it reminds me of summer evenings here long ago. So sweet. Do you ever wish you could go back in time? Not if I had to forsake the future. One can't go back or forwards. That's nonsense. One is stuck solidly in the present. You are Zika. Ah. Hey. 
Here it is. Shall we go inside? No, let's not. Theo, let us go back to the ship. Yes, of course. What now? Poor leader. I hope to discover the truth about the mysterious Onassis past. I'll show you the truth. I'll show you the naked Onassis. I give you work. <laughs> my spiritual home, my institute of higher learning. That's mad. Here, this is where I learned the great mystery of life. One way or another, darling, all women do it for the money. They seem to so young. Because I had yet to learn of love. Once my uncle Alexander died, now we are joined. What happened to him? He was a radical, like the kids today, only he was hanged for it. I loved him more than anyone. I named my son Alexander after him. My father gave me life, but Alexander taught me to enjoy it. the sort of place for us. I'm having a good time. I don't see why you can't do the same. You want me to stand by while you behave like this Greek's little plaything? Oh, that is a terrible thing. You're fascinated by Onassis. You're like a schoolgirl. I find him interesting. There is nothing wrong with that. Please. I sold my business to guide your career. You were a fat girl from Brooklyn. I turned you into an international phenomenon. Now you put everything in jeopardy with this flirtation. I cannot spend my whole life repaying your relentless generosity. I know what you have done for me. I appreciate what we, we have together. The, the career, the music, the art. I may be your wife and your income, but I am also a woman. The 
God of the sea is on my side. Perhaps he's angry. No. He sensed I wanted to be alone with you. What are your plans, Madam Callis? I never make plans. Can we have a statement, Miss Callis? Please, Madame. Where do you think you're going? As far away as I can. My wife doesn't walk out. I'm not your wife anymore. I've tolerated your grubby little affairs, but I'll be damned if I'm going to stand back and smile while you and your canary humiliate me in public. T I L Y, Tina, I love you. You can always change the first initial. I've given you everything you've wanted. But nothing of value, especially the Anassis label. I'm taking back Nivanos. It has a history and lineage I can respect. Years ago, I asked you if you could stand up to my father. I think it's time for a rematch. You are garbage. Garbage from the gutters of Turkey. No man! Will jeopardize his family on. I am not part of your family. You made that clear from the start. And I am not the one who left. You never gave Tina a choice. She could have stayed and been a good wife. Like yours. My grandchildren may be contacted through their mother's lawyer. They're my kids! I am only conveying my daughter's wishes. Listen! You tell your daughter that if she puts any legal barriers between me and my children, I will smash them down. I used to be afraid of you, Livanos, but not anymore. I am richer than you are, and I have never been this happy in my life. If I want to, I can break your back. It's 
nor me you should be afraid of. Your arrogance, you will choke on it. A man who destroys everything meaningful, in the end, is a sad man and a fool. children back. They're mine. You want war with the old man? I've got the touch, Costa. I'm in front of the parade and I don't even have to breathe hard. Livanos knows it too. He'll back down. Why are you breaking up your family? When I turned 50, I thought, how terrible to work all my life for what? A loveless marriage? Why can't I have Maria too? Maria opened my heart. She makes me feel free. That never happened before. I'm not going to give that up. Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. My wife has begun legal proceedings. Obviously, I shall have to do what she wants. But what about Maria Callas? I'm a sailor. These things happen to a sailor. Huh? Are you going to marry her? We're good friends. I have no thoughts of remarrying. Thank you very much. Good friends. What the hell does that mean, huh? I was only trying to protect your reputation. Well, I don't need that kind of protection. I want my public to understand that I left my husband for the love of my life, not some, some idiot friendship. I want the world to know. Maria loves the That is the way to an unsatisfied prophet. Onassis loves Karen. <laughs> <laughs> for pineapples and for bile, <laughs> you can be the captain mm. and I should be first mate. Well, right now, we can't go anywhere. Oh. The kids only just got here and they need to be with their papa. Yeah. Should be nice to Maria, eh? We were just pretending. Why'd she get so upset? Come play. Later. They hate me. They blame me for the loss of their mother. No, 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 no. Wait. They'll see how happy I am. They just need time. Time? I wish I had more time with you. Instead, I have an offer. It'll only be a month, then you'll be back. Meanwhile... Meanwhile, you will be getting up to this. I promised Sir Winston a cruise, so it all works out. The Churchills are very fond of Tina. I am cast by everybody as the evil woman. It is totally unfair. Maria, such a prima donna. <laughs> Calm down. I brought you something. Am I alive? Maria, I love you. A dream of 
I enjoy a good cry at the cinema. Winston's a softy when it's something that touches the heart. Lee, what do they play at the White House? Jack likes thrillers. You know, I met your sister once. I thought her husband had no future, <laughs> so I didn't invite them to dinner. Then I guess I'm the lucky sister. And how is Jackie? About to have another baby. Oh. I see. Camelot on the other side of the Atlantic. <laughs> oh, why not? Rainier wants me to build hotels in Monaco. I said, sure. Just give me exclusive rights on all development. And? He vetoed me. The little prince. What about this princess of yours? You've been reading the gossip columns. I gave the Churchills a cruise, and there she was. President of America's sister-in-law. Talk, talk, talk. What about Maria? I love Maria. Don't worry. I'm not going to give that up. I've arranged another tour. Thanks, Sid. Maria, don't do this to your career. There is more to my life now than singing. What could possibly be more important? Love. This was the scene today as President Kennedy and his wife, Jacqueline, left the hospital after the death of their premature son, Patrick. Please ask me to cruise on the Christina. I think we should discuss it. I've already accepted. I'll ask Frank Roosevelt and Susan to go with you. They may add a little respectability. What's that supposed to mean? Come on, Jackie. This thing with Leon Onassis. The papers are full of it. Just what Jack doesn't need for the 64 election. We can't afford to be publicly associated with people like him. Please, can't you understand? I have to have some time on my own. Some peace. It's what I need. I want to be casual but elegant, like Audrey Hepburn. And I need swimsuits. Anything particular? Mm, something that makes me look like a water spirit. <laughs> An evening one? Black. Ari likes me in black. Oh. <sighs> Excuse me. Yeah. Aristo! No, that's terrible. Yes, I understand. I understand. Ciao, darling. My plans have changed. Like a beautiful woman deserving to be touched by loving hands. He's a wonder. Come with your fingers. <laughs> Bravo! <laughs> Bravo! You're a born Greek, a Greek goddess. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> The Greek goddess of style, huh? <laughs> Greek music, Greek food, sister. Me? Oh, yes. Oh, 
Sit looking out to sea, imagining Ulysses sailing by. Did you want to go with him? I wanted to be him. I wanted to leave my childhood and sail away on a wine dark sea. <laughs> on your way to glory. What else? We're only remembered for what we achieve. The details get lost. No one cares whether the people who made this stuff were nice or not. It's what they left behind that counts. Ulysses was an ordinary man, Thank like you. me. <laughs> but his story was told and retold until it became a legend. You, you could become a legend. The FBI has a file on Onassis thicker than Hoover's head. You name it. Onassis sold ships to Japan before World War II. He had fascist friends in South America. He uh, was indicted by the Justice Department for fraud after the war. He was condemned for violating the International Whaling Treaty, tried to cook up a deal with the Saudis to uh, corner the world's oil market. I mean, the FBI doesn't even know for sure how old he is. He's a real sweetheart. OK, Bobby. I got your point. Mr. President, the hookup is complete. Mrs. Kennedy's on the line. Jackie, I can hardly hear you. I'm not overreacting. We're catching hell from the Republicans. I know you're on the high seas. I don't care how you get off. You get off! Jackie, you're a good swimmer. What? Jack? All right. I'll see you then. 